Husilar Nayanar Husilar was one of the 63 Nayanar Tondai Mandalam was a Pallava dynasty kingdom which included the present day city of Chennai Kanji was the capital of this kingdom and emperor Kadavarkon was reigning the Tondai Mandalam in which there was a small village called Tirunindravur in that village there was a poor brahmin priest an ardent devotee of lord shiva lived his name was husalar he used to do daily pujas to a small statue of lord shiva which was under a mahu tree in tirunendravur close to the modern day chennai he was living off the fruits and puja items and the little money offered by the villagers who come to pray to lord shiva sometime he would go hungry by using them to feed hungry pilgrims who rest under the mahu tree the poor priest puselar had an insatiable desire to build a temple for the lord who is sitting under the mahu tree exposed to all extreme of the weather so whenever someone offered him money for food he would talk to them about his desire and ask them for money to build a temple for the lord even if he was able to get some money most of it would go towards feeding the pilgrims as he couldn't ignore the hungry pilgrims of lord shiva people would laugh and question just how was a man who did not even have money to buy a square meal who had a hand to mouth existence bill a big temple in the way he described impossible they would say and walk away however no amount of ridicule would deter the spirit of usala he thought that if I can't raise enough money to build a temple for the Lord. I would build a great temple in my mind. He had no idea that it was going to be recognized not only by the Lord but also by the emperor out of our court. Every day after finishing his pujas to the Lord he would sit down near the statue and closing his eyes and mind he would begin to meditate being in that meditating position he imagined himself as having necessary fund going to the market and buying the necessary materials and tools he would hire the necessary sculptures skilled craftsmen and workers and then supervise their work he would even shout at them if they were untidy and messy birds he would rush them out to finish off tasks in time and pay them all promptly every day he would continue from where he left all in the previous day the temple started growing up in his mind the passers by did not know what was happening to him but would witness him sitting in utmost serenity with blissful smile on his lips husalar spent time and was very careful so as to build the temple 
step by step. He had designed everything in his mind right from Vimana or the Cobra, Sanctum, Temple Pond, compound walls, etc. and executed each in detail as per what Ahama Veda rules stipulated. At the same time, Pallava Emperor Kharava Khom was building the Kailasanadha temple in Kanjipura, the capital of Tondai Mandala. A magnificent exhibition of Pallava architecture and a unique temple paralleled to no other rose up exquisitely. It was the gold building that both temple works were being completed at the same time. Having built such an architectural wonder, the king consulted with famous astrologers and priests of his land, fixed the date for the consecration of his temple. Coincidentally, it was the same date and time of that was fixed by priest Husserler as well. Since he was in trance almost all the time, Husserler would not know what is going on in the country and so he was not aware of the king's plan for the Kanjipuram temple. And because it was being built in Husserler's mind, no one was aware of his temple or his consecration plans. One day, after visiting the temple and made sure all works had been completed to his satisfaction, the king went to sleep with great peace of mind that the temple is ready for consecration. Soon he was in deep sleep. Lord Shiva appeared in his dream. O king, on the day you have chosen for consecration, I have already committed being at the consecration of the temple built by Pusalab of Tirunandravu, a great devotee of mine. And so, can you move your consecration arrangement to another day? and I will be there. With those words, the Lord disappeared. The king, walking with a great surprise, waited until morning. He postponed his Kailasanadha temple's consecration ceremony to another day. The king and his entourage went to Thirinanravu on the day of consecration. He asked the people of the village about Shiva temple and the consecration ceremonies. No one gave the king the right answer. They replied that there is no such temple in their village. This confused the king and he asked village chief if there is a person called Husalar. He responded by saying all about Pusilar and his poverty and his desire to build a temple for Lord Shiva which did not materialize yet. The chief arranged to send some people to fetch Pusilar to where king was in. The king stopped them and instead asked them to take him to the place where Pusilar was in. The priest was still in meditation. Suddenly, he came out of his meditation and was surprised by the sight of the king and his men around him. He startled and felt a sense of worry that he had done something wrong. The king said, Swami, 
on the direction of Lord Shiva. I am here to witness concretion ceremony of the temple you built for Lord Shiva. But I couldn't see a temple anywhere here. Can you see that please? Said the king very politely. Pusalar nearly fainted. He thought to himself that no one knew about the temple that he was building in his mind. But he is the king of the land with detail intimated by none other than the Lord whom the temple was being built. Tears were brimming his eyes as the Lord has recognized his great work. He was speechless for some time and then explained to the king the temple was built in his mind and nowhere else. The king and the villagers were amazed and fell at the feet of Pusalar. The king then said goodbye and returned to Kanjipuram leaving Pusalar to continue with his ceremony. Pusalar completed the congregation ceremony and continued to do daily pujas in the temple and attain the feet of Lord Shiva. He became known as Pusalar Nayanar of the 63 great devotees of Lord Shiva. Later, the king built an actual temple in the same village. The temple is known as Irudaya Iswara Temple. Irudaya in Tamil means heart, can be seen in Tirunandravur near Chennai. And the Kailasanada Temple built by the king also can be seen in Kanjiburam today.